Dear fellows, welcome to IT Knowledge Base. In this lecture, we will discuss how to lock and unlock user accounts in the Linux easily. After watching this video, you can definitely manage your Linux users as this is part of managing users principle. You can professionally manage user accounts in your Linux VPS servers, hosting servers, corporate Linux servers and SSH servers etc. To lock a user account, you can use two commands usermod capital L and password dash small l. After locking down the user accounts, both commands simply add an exclamation mark in the second field of the shadow file which you can easily discover that account is in the locked state. This method has to be executed by either root or privilege user account and locking the user account. After the locking, system will immediately deny any access which would be done directly using SU or with SSH if password authentication is enabled. In this demonstration, I am using the Ubuntu Desktop 22.10 acting as a Ubuntu client and Ubuntu Server 22.10 for our SSH server for remoting. I have created three lab accounts for testing and evaluation purpose, user1, user2 and user3. Now let's jump over to our Ubuntu desktop to perform all the demonstrations. How to log users in Linux? As stated earlier, we can use two commands, password and user mode. Or you can say that we have two possible commands lock and unlock the user accounts and we will definitely look into both options. First use the password command to lock the user1. And the second command is user mod to lock user 2 and user 3. Now switch to the second terminal and attempt to log in and verify the user's authentication. Enter the password and authentication is failed. Try some other user account to log into the terminal but we can't due to the account being locked. How to check the status of the users and verify whether it is locked or not. I will use the grep command or you can simply open the shadow file for the exclamation mark sign after the username. If the user is locked using the password or with the user mod command, they both lock the password by putting an exclamation mark at the start of it. We could see a single exclamation sign here. Now let's see how to unlock users in Linux. Use the password command to unlock user1. We will use the tag small u switch to unlock the user account. Use the user mode command to unlock user 2 and user 3. With the user mode, we will use that tag capital U switch to unlock the user account. And that is the only switch's differences to unlock the user. Now try to log in again in the separate terminal. This time, user should be able to authenticate normally. Try some other account as well to confirm their authenticity. Yes now, they all are fine. Another way to verify whether the user account is locked or not is with the password status command. It shows display account status information. The status information consists of seven fields. The first field is the user's login name. The second field may be indicate if the user account has a locked password shows here capital L or if has no password shows capital NP or has a usable then it shows capital P. 
The third field gives the end date of the last password change. The next four fields are the minimum age, age warning period and inactivity period for the password. These ages are expressed in days. Please note, locking down user's account simply locks password authentication. It cannot expire or disable the user account. But what about SSH key based passwordless authentication? Is it also locked? Or users may prevent from connecting? Can the user's locked out procedure prevent SSH key based authentication too? If the user's account is configured to be able to log in into the SSH server with their public and private key or key based authentication is configured, then just user account lockout is not enough. Let's check then. Now I would like to jump over to my Ubuntu server. First lock down the user account. In this case, I am locking down the user account user1. Verify whether the account is locked or not. Simply check the exclamation mark. Yes, it's locked. Please remember, SSH key based authentication is configured in my lab server for the sake of the accomplishment of the demonstration. And if you wanted to configure or build SSH key based authentication server, then watch my video, 3 steps to implement SSH key based authentication, where I have demystified all the steps. You should configure it and avoid password based authentication in all of your SSH enabled server. Because it can be brute force and breakable, attackers dearest service is SSH. When they find it's open, they enforce their all efforts to penetrated. I have created user1 within the SSH server and locked the user account with the password command. Verify whether I can authenticate user1 within the server or not. No, I certainly cannot. Now go back to your Ubuntu SSH or SSH client machine and try to connect or authenticate with user1 into your SSH server as this is my client machine so I can easily log into my user1. But user1 is now authenticated along with the SSH keys and it's successful. Yes, you can connect, but why? We have locked this user account previously and should prevent it. Here is a caveat because if SSH key based authentication is configured for a passwordless SSH login, simply from an automation viewpoint, then the user can still able to log in with SSH key based authentication if it is configured. Remember this, typical account locking practice is not enough to disable the account completely. If you want to disable or expire the user account completely, use chh command. Let's jump back over to our Ubuntu server. Let's take help first to see available switches. We will use tag capital E to expire the account completely. Expiring an account via the use of the 8 field in the shadow file will block all access methods that use spam privilege access management to authenticate a server. CH tag small l and the username and note the account expire settings. Now try SSH key connection again. Now let's jump over to our SSH client and try SSH key connection again. And it's failed this time. So normally I prefer to lock and expire the user account for better security. Now revert the user account back to normal or enable the account and set it to never expire. Type ch aged tag capital E and double apostrophe or single quote space username. Hit enter. and check the status of the user. Now it's never expired. This means user may able to log in once again and continue their work. Now jump back over to our client. Try again. And it's successful. We can also change the default shell of the user to sbin forward slash no login so that the user does not get any login shell when he tries to log into the system. I recommend using the user mod command to restrict the user shell as it is cleaner than manually editing the file but I'll still demonstrate both methods here. First let's use the user mod command to restrict the shell. Switch back to our Ubuntu server. Now let's use user mod command. And now you can check for the seventh and last field in etc forward slash password file for the change of the shell to sbin forward slash no login. Use grep command. 
Here you can see we have restricted this user to no login. Now edit the password file manually. Scroll down until you get your desired user account. Now you can change the part which says slash bin slash bash adjacent to the user to forward slash user forward slash as bin forward slash no login. Save this file. Try login with user1 and checking the authentication effect straight. Switch to user2. And try to SSH into our SSH server. Great. Now you know that the user cannot log into any terminal. If you do try to log in after this, you'll get the below message. Well, that's about it. These are just some of the quick and easy method to lock, unlock and disable user account in Linux that you can work with. But if you need help with a specific situation, comment below and I can help you out with it better. Hope this video helped you to know how to lock and unlock a user account in Linux easily. Alright, that's all for the now. I am hoping you have found this video informative. Thank you for being here. I will see you in my upcoming future tech video content. I look forward to join you through this lecture. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Thank you.